evening ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel today we are talking about the relaxosaurus and the relaxosaurus lux i have maxed out both of them and we're going to be using the sparkets to boost up the relaxosaurus lux we're going to be using the kelpsies to boost up the relaxosaurus because he is a water type as his secondary so these will work like that and we're going to do this as well as if it is a realistic fighting situation where you're bringing this dude with three of these and your flyer for maneuverability one thing that we're not going to be able to do unfortunately is test the damage on the pangolin because the rockets are heat seeking or at least pal seeking from what i can tell and they do not like to uh operate correctly or they operate as intended but as you can see they do not uh go at the pangolin dummy they just kind of go wherever they want to what the heck I'm a little mad about that. What was it going after? Okay, before I blow something up in my base, let's work with this. All right, first, first up is we'll do the Relaxosaurus Lux. He is at 1383. So the Relaxosaurus Lux is sitting at 1798 at the moment. We stack him with three of the Sparkets. We're at 2381. So now we're going to go feed him some of the Loco Moco. So now we're doing 2857. That's pretty, pretty, pretty good. That's some high damage. So we are going to go after... I guess we should test him against Frost Stallion. We'll test his Rocket Volley though. All in all, he's uh, keeping her volleyed ridiculously well. <laughs> there is a limit. You know what? What the hell? We're gonna do full volley. The full volley is just not the way to go. She bounces around too much. Where the hell are you going? Well, that was weird. Crappy one, but nonetheless. Yeah, that's uh that's viable. Not bad. Chipped away at her. Used about if we were doing what we were doing, we could have probably done about four volleys, three, three, four volleys. And that's at really good damage though as well. Let's see how he fares against Blazemut. By the way, those of you who don't know and didn't uh didn't get a chance to watching my video on the in-depth analysis of food, any and all of the buffs as far as working buffs or damage buffs or defensive buffs all last 10 minutes and if you put the pal in the box with the buff running then it will keep that buff on them until you pull them back out all right i want to see what a full volley does to blaze them up this is how this should work right nah it's just better to not do that <laughs> Well, there you go. If I wouldn't have done the first volley of rockets, we probably could have killed him in one run of rockets, which would have been nice. So his advantage is also his disadvantage. I don't even want to say it's a disadvantage all, at all either. So he can fire those rockets really fast. It's like jet wagon style rockets, but you can't really shoot them that fast and expect them to be accurate on multiple enemies. And I'd say, yeah, but even with that, like you're better off firing in burst or at least like one at a time they don't they, they will seek out from wherever you're firing from so if i shoot this way it will well that, i didn't even notice those guys were over there we'll seek the closest target <laughs> i 
<laughs> like I didn't even notice them there. So I'd say advantages are the fact that it does have the same rocket ability as Jet Dragon. You can get some pretty decent damage out of him. Using his rocket ability is good for keeping bosses juggled for a significant amount of time. I'd say even longer than Masander and Masanda Lux. Disadvantages is as much as I want to hold that trigger and fire all the rockets at once, I would be doing it an injustice of usefulness. So it's better to fire them in short burst or at least like one at a time if you can prevent it the other disadvantage is the fact that eventually you will have to reload so you have to have a second pal to distract to drop the ball and then go at it this could be slightly solved if you dropped like another booster pal so instead of two sparkets you have or instead of three you have two sparkets and then you have a relaxosaurus another lux so you could double them up and then still have your flyer and then that way you have two volumes of rockets now that would work if you went through the process of doing like i did and bred up these things to be monsters then it is a possibility to have them as like decent usage in multiplayer use i would say that this is actually a good thing because you can have a harder damage pile that then you use for damage purposes and then while they're on cooldown if you don't want to jump off and let them attack or any of that or even just to keep the boss in a juggling status so it doesn't attack the pal that way you can kind of crank up the damage on the other pal to the maximum amount of whatever you're doing with it and then have the relaxosaurus or the relaxosaurus lux as a juggler so at that point it's just preventing the boss from getting up fully the only difference is i think between the relaxosaurus and the relaxosaurus lux is the simple fact that with the relaxosaurus see this is where like dragon booster pals would be good because i don't have another beefy relaxosaurus but yeah, you could run like two, two of the Relaxosaurus, choose one type, that way you can buff them off of two of the either Sparkets or Helpsies. I would probably go with the electric version of the Relaxosaurus because at that point you can do Sparkets and if you are doing a Relaxosaurus and you want to do like a Grizz Bolt or something else with that, then you could pair them up as well with it. Or even a Masanda Lux like we had showed before. I don't think I'm going to test them up masanda because it's the same exact thing with the grenader but we will give the old college try to the relaxosaurus here 26 19 that's pretty good damage after paldius and necromis we'll probably get our butt whooped but we'll see how much we can keep them volleyed <laughs> I can't get on the back of them. I don't know what's going on with that. All right. That was a long fought battle. <laughs> kind of ridiculous to be honest, but we managed to get it to work with a little bit of trading off and, you know, lost Paldius, couldn't catch him. I had to kill him. All in all, is the Relaxosaurus and the Relaxosaurus Lux worth it? I mean, it has its usages. Will I personally be using it? No, because there's better stuff to use, such as Shadow Beak or Crusty and Knock, but I mean, you can get them early enough where you can make that justification. Would I continuously use them probably not at some point they'll be phased out if you're running in a team like if you have multiple people on like a server that you're running with friends or something then yeah i'd say go all the way with it that way you can have something that's gonna volley them but at that point i wouldn't invest that much into them i just have one and buy the saddle and use the rockets as a juggling technique and then have your buddy doing damage i did have to finesse that fight and and the frost stallion knight pretty good but in one volley we could have did the blaze of mutt and got him done but yeah all in all the decision is at the end of the day up to you and how you want to play i personally wouldn't invest that much time into it if you're someone that's doing niche stuff and wants to wants to do the whole pokemon thing and got to catch them all and make them all beastly then by all means but i don't think that it's worth it to do so it's worth it to have one but it's not really worth it to invest and build up so with all that being said 
dude yeah the choice is yours if you guys enjoyed the video drop a like if you guys enjoy my content drop a sub and leave a comment down below other than that keep you willy washed and we'll see you guys on the next one peace out